everyone and welcome to the Mum's Eye View channel. My name is Lisa Prido and today I'm showing you how to get this flawless face in a matter of minutes. I'm using really simple, quick and easy products. I'm a mum so I haven't got much time and I need something that's quick and easy. It's going to make me fresh faced in a matter of seconds. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial and make sure you subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Okay, so first of all, I've just made sure all of my makeup is all removed from the day before. I already remove it at night, but just to make sure my face is fully cleansed, I like to use the Garnier Micellar Water. Um, it's just nice and light on the skin, and it's really great for sensitive skin, so it's super, super gentle, and it's a really, really nice product, so really love that. Um, whilst that's all done, that's taken all my makeup off, I'm now going to use the um, Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturiser Oil Free. This is one of my really my favourite moisturisers, I absolutely love it. Again, it's another product that's super light on the skin, helps with any blemishes you may have. And also I find it really quite refreshing once you've applied it, so that's really, really nice. Um, so now for the complexion of the face, I've gone for a BB cream. I'm using the Maybelline um, Dream Finish BB Cream. I find this really nice and lightweight on the skin. Um, the coverage is pretty light as well, but if you have blemishes, etc., you can use some concealer just to cover those and use the BB, the BB cream for the rest of the face. So I'm just going to apply that now with my fingers. I just find that using your fingers really warms up the product and really works it into the skin well. Okay, so BB creams and CC creams can be quite hard to get used to because of the sheer cover. So if you prefer something with a little bit more cover, then I'd recommend trying the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation. This foundation evens out the skin tone instantly and gives you better looking skin in just three weeks. It's also got SPF 20 in it, so it's perfect for the summer. Um, I like to just apply this with the brush and I just buff it into the skin. It really gives a lovely even complexion. I also like to use the Superstay Better Skin Concealer. I'm using the shade Light for this one, and this just um, covers up any extra blemishes I have and brightens up the complexion again. Really, really fantastic duo, I'd highly recommend. So this is just a final look to show you what the concealer and the foundation look like together. Now let's go back to today's look with the BB cream. This product really gives like a really fresh faced, dewy a glow to it. I really, really like that. And you can still see your skin through it, which is really nice. Um, now we're gonna move on to concealer because I do have a few blemishes. So one of my favorite drugstore concealers is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. I've gone for the shade Classic Beige today and um, because that suits my skin tone the best. Sometimes I'll use a lighter shade on the under eye area, but I don't need that today. So I'm just gonna use um, the Classic Beige on any blemishes that I have and dot those onto the blemishes. This um, concealer has really great cover and it's not drying at all either, which is what I really love about it. And I'm just going to use this one. I'm patting away at the product rather than rubbing it away just because we don't want to get rid of the cover that we've just um, popped on there. So dabbing is a great way just to keep the concealer there but blend it in softly. Okay, so that's done. We are going to move on to the eyes now and come back to the complexion a little bit later on. So for eyes, keeping it pretty simple, I'm going with the Rimmel London and um, this little quad here. I really love the shades. I think they're super, super pretty. They're very neutral, um, as you can see there. I'm going to go with the light champagne sort of shades. Um, just pop it over to the whole eyelid. I'm just going to sweep it on that brush. I'm just going to sweep on the champagne bronze colour, just over the whole eyelid. I'm going to also add this lighter shade here onto the inner part of the eye and um, towards the tear duct area because that's going to make our eyes look bigger and brighter. Okay, so now we're just going to add a little bit of liner to add some definition to the eye. I'm using um, a collection liner here and we're just going to sweep that on. Just a fine line, nothing too thick, too heavy, but we just want to add that little bit of definition to the eye. We're just going to add some mascara now. I'm using the Maybelline Big Eyes um, Mascara. This is a really cool mascara actually because you have um, a wand for your bottom and your top lashes. So the bottom wand is super, super tiny and it just gets to those little hard to reach bottom lashes. So I really, really like that. It's super cute. Great alternative 
for I think they've got a Clinique bottom lash mascara so this is so much cheaper and all available from Asda's so how good is that when you can do your shopping and get your makeup as well So um, now we've done the mascara, we've done the liner, we've done the shadow, we just have one more step and that is to brighten up the eye even more is to add some more eyeliner. So what I like to do is I like to add um, a white liner or a nude sort of liner on the waterline area. This is just going to make your eyes appear brighter, whiter and wider. So when you haven't had much sleep the night before with your baby, um, this is an essential. So I definitely, definitely do that. So I'm just going to add a little bit of liner onto the waterline and that's instantly packed up my eye area. So yes, that is pretty much the eyes done. I didn't want to do anything too heavy. Um, like I said, this is pretty much all about the face. I want to make sure the complexion is perfect. Um, for me, when I go out, I like to make sure that my face is completely perfect and then I can just whack on a little bit of mascara a nice little lip colour and then I'm ready to go out the door. So um, while we move on to the face, what I want to do is we need to add a little bit of powder and a little bit of bronzer. So what I've gone for is the Maybelline Dream Sun um, bronzer. I really like this one because it has three different shades. So um, for more fair skin tones and dark skin tones and the in-between one as well. So um, what I like to do is I just like to get a little brush and I actually dip it into the darkest one and I try and contour slightly. I'm not going for a, a full on contour. I just want to get those cheekbones sucked in a little bit and overall like warm up the face. So I'm just going to pop that into the hollows of the cheeks. Just, you know, gives me a bit of life again because I'm looking a little bit flat here so we just need to add a little bit more dimension to the face yeah where the sun would naturally hit your face so that's good we've added a little bit more dimension our face isn't looking too flat so next we're just going to set that all in place and I absolutely love this setting powder it's um, Stay Matte by Rimmel so um, if you don't want to have a full matte face just pop it onto the areas where you'd get a little bit more oily um, I just like to pop it onto my T-zone area this one's always um, also great if you need a little bit more coverage um, because it has a little bit of cover in there although you can get the translucent powder if you would like if you prefer just to have a translucent um, finish on there but I just like to add that extra bit of cover um, so it, it holds throughout the day so for the lips I'm just going to use this um, a Rimmel like chubby stick and um, it's in a really pretty um, pink shade I just think pink's just gonna you know bring a little bit of life into your face and uh, brighten up your face a little bit more and it's just a really cute shade for everyone to wear um, I think these sticks are really nice because they're a little bit glossy and um, you can wear them more sheer or more opaque so let's just pop some on and this is the final look so guys, that is the end of the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, it's a pretty quick and easy look to go for. Minimal products, but all fantastic products, and they all work so well together. So I hope you enjoyed it, and make sure you come over to my channel to check out my new video. I have done a mummy morning routine, so you can really check out how it really goes down in my household in the AM. So come over and check it out, and thank you so much for watching. Give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all soon. Bye! Apparently, 37 weeks pregnant and here is the bump to prove it. So I was recently asked by Mum's Eye View to do a baby haul on some lovely things from Asda. So I'm really really excited to show you some of the bits that we got for our little boy. It hopefully won't be very long until he's here um, and we're just so excited so let's get straight